For Europeans, this place began in 1839 when George Grey explored through. Later, the Linton hiring station at Port Gregory was built by ticket of leave men. From here, they were hired out as labour to local pastoralists. The story goes the convicts were treated like slaves, even killed. But that may be just titillating folklore. So why have we started our portrait of the Midwest among these sad ruins? Because there are themes here that play out right across the region. Themes like the sea and what it brings, including those poor innocent Dutch on Batavia who hit the Abrolhos out there and were murdered by mutineers out there. Like the land, rich land and what it gives to the farmers and miners and to the nation. Like the good life because the Midwest is a well-used holiday destination. And like that very marketable theme that sends a shiver up your spine from Batavia on. Around these parts there's a history of violence. We're at Greenough, to the south of Port Gregory. More hopes in ruins. George Grey explored here too, and was optimistic. This could be the granary of Western Australia, he said. So the productive Greenough Flats would, in time, support a population of more than a thousand. But then came the disasters. From the sea, a cyclone. Floods. Later, the lure of the goldfields. Not nature's fault this time, but Greenough was emptied and abandoned. But in 1993, violence was back, big time. One axe, one killer, four dead. So brutal was the Greenough family massacre that the trial judge spared us the details. How do you follow that piece of horror? With a thing of beauty, of course, about which it can truly be said no convict died in the making, no saint was axed before the altar. OK, there may have been some argy-bargy with the Catholic hierarchy in Perth about detail, but thank God, and architect John Hawes that the Moorish, Granada-ish, Spanish Californian Cathedral of St Francis Xavier is a premier attraction in Geraldton, where we now are. Geraldton is an administrative centre and a port. It's got coffee and shopping and a developing beachfront in the CBD. It's also a city that, come five-ish, seems to like its bed. And is that so bad? Just off the main street, hidden under a giant fig, is an old merry-go-round, albeit a replica of one even older. Fans of Randolph Stowe will know where this is going. Stowe's coming-of-age novel is set here in Geraldton. It has six-year-old Rob seeing his older cousin Rick off to war. It's 1941, it's literature. And out to sea, more drama. Sydney meets Cormoran, they fight, Sydney is sunk. This memorial on Geraldton's high ground remembers those who died. It was 1941, it's history. 645 seagulls, one for the soul of every man. This place is dramatic at any time and magical at sunset, but desperately poignant too. 
What is she looking for? News of the Sydney, actually. But in truth, she's timeless. She could be scanning the sea for Batavia, or for ruinous cyclones bearing down, or for ships coming to load minerals and wheat, or just watching the lads with their boards. Probably watching and calling them home because it's now well past five. And even with that none too subtle homage to a James A. Fitzpatrick travelogue, it's not quite the end. It's promo time. Next week, insights from local legend Barry Kimberley, who once again is coaching railways to the top of the GNFL. If anything, it's getting harder for the country teams. Uh, small farms have disappeared and been eaten up by you know, bigger farms, though there's less families out on the farms, I suppose, less kids coming through those areas. I think Northampton are trying to address that at the moment by bringing players up from Perth, and uh, if that makes them competitive and, and a better side, then that's good for football. And by great good management, meet the very personification of that Northampton experiment, the Gaelic footballer from Cork they call Irish. They kind of see me as bringing some experience, I think, which is quite strange because I've not played very much. I don't know what they say behind my back, but <laughs> no, they do. They, they, they seem to like me. They're, all, they're always trying to get me to stay up there and have a drink with them. And uh, I've had one or two little experiences with it, but I don't know if I'd be able for them. Yeah. It'd be a while. And on either side of them, on this very ground in Geraldton, East Fremantle versus West Perth, a blockbuster matchup with absolutely no history of violence. <laughs>